Let us understand symmetric and skew symmetric matrices. Now, what is a symmetric matrix? A symmetric matrix is one where A transpose equals A. Okay? If you transpose the matrix, you get the original. Right? So, let us take an example. Now, first if A is M by N, then we know that A transposes N by M. That means what? In order for a matrix to be symmetric, it must be a square matrix. That means M and N should be equal. Otherwise, you cannot have equality of matrices with these two different orders. right? So, which means A is a square matrix N by N. Okay? But that is not all that is required. Every element must match, right? It is not just the order. So, for example, if A is A i j n by n, A transposes A j i n by n. Because A and A transpose are equal, A i j equals A j i for all i comma j belong to 1 to n right that means if i and j are between 1 and n both included a i j must equal a j for which means for example a 1 2 equal a 2 1 so that's why it's symmetric for example if you take a 3 by 3 matrix for the diagonal elements can be anything but if i put 4 here 4 must be the entry here if this is minus 2 okay this must also be minus 2. If this is 5, this also should be 5. This is what is a symmetric matrix. Okay? Next, what is a skew symmetric matrix? If A transpose is minus A, again it is a square matrix. Okay? A square matrix A of n by n order is skew symmetric. If A transpose is negative A, a. Now, here what happens is, okay, I can take the same kind of example. If this is 4, this must be minus 4. If this is 5, this must be minus 5. If this is minus 2 or, or if this is minus 2, this must be plus 2. But that is not all. Okay? So, you can clearly see that A A I J must equal minus A J I. But here is the key. Because this is true for all i j belonging to 1 comma n, this must also be true for diagonal entries. So, you will find a i i is minus a i i. This implies a i i is 0, which means if you need a skew symmetric matrix, all the diagonal entries must be 0. So, this is now a skew symmetric matrix. Why? A i j and a j i. This is a 1 1, a 1 2, this is a 2 1. So, a 1 2 and a 2 1 are negative. a 1 3 and a 3 1 are negative of each other. a 2 3 and a 3 2 are negative. Okay? But in addition to that, all the diagonal entries must be 0 and this is a skew symmetric matrix. Okay? Now, why do we learn about symmetric and skew symmetric matrices? You can see that symmetric and skew symmetric matrices have certain properties like by looking at them, it is easy to understand what the elements are going to be. If you know something on the top, you also know what is it going to be in the bottom. right? But you may think, sir, that happens very rarely. How commonly are we going to have symmetric or skew symmetric matrices? Well, whether they occur naturally or not is not a big problem. There is a very beautiful property that lets you bring in symmetric and skew symmetric matrices even if it is not occurring in your context. Okay? And that is that every matrix can be expressed as, well not every matrix, every square matrix expressed as 
the sum of a symmetric and skew symmetric matrices and skew symmetric matrix this is a very beautiful property given any matrix a you can write it as the sum of two matrices one is symmetric and the other is skew symmetric well how is that possible well, the beauty is suppose we call this b plus c where b is the symmetric and c is the skew symmetric b is nothing but a plus a transpose by 2 and c is a minus a transpose by 2 okay well first let's verify what happens if you do b plus c it's a by 2 a transpose by 2 a by 2 and minus a transpose by 2 so clearly b plus c is equal to a by 2 plus a by 2 equals a okay b plus c is equal to a is verified but the big question is is it true that b is symmetric and c is q symmetric well let's check check b transpose is a plus a transpose by 2 the whole transpose which is a transpose plus a by 2 which is the same as b okay next what is c transpose c transpose is a minus a transpose by 2 the whole transpose which will be a transpose minus a by 2 which will be minus c so we find that b transpose equals b this means b is symmetric Similarly, C transpose is minus C, which means C is skew symmetric. And therefore, we have attained our goal that we have an A which equals B plus C, a symmetric plus a skew symmetric matrix. And this is true for any square matrix. You can always split it into symmetric and skew symmetric matrix.